I think the royal family, if we want of a better way of putting it, have had a, a good pandemic. They've, um, ex- especially William and Kate, they've sort of exemplified what their role is, which is to be a, a focus and to be apolitical, but to support, give support and assistance where it's needed and to u- use their star power to, you know, present a focus onto things. Um, and I think the Queen actually, you know, she said, you know, if you are alone, I'm, I'm thinking of you, you're in my presence. To actually directly speak, there will be people who are totally alone and in despair, as Bobby has said, for a variety of reasons this Christmas. And to have the Queen stare down the camera and say, um, you're in my thoughts, will have made a difference to them, I'm sure. But it's also interesting that um, the Times, for example, presents this as a, uh, as a speech about diversity, the fact that she brought in other faiths and that she was um, you know, trying to talk about all the people who've done so well during this pandemic and although obviously she wouldn't have made a speech uh, quite the same way but if, you know if Megan had said some of the similar stuff for some reason then she'd be accused of woke virtue signaling this is the queen being woke and signaling her virtue and it's entirely acceptable because a virtuous person is a good thing not a bad thing and perhaps we could try and remember that in 2021 when we accuse people who are trying to be good of trying to make everybody else feel bad because they're not as good as they are that's not how it works this is someone signaling genuine virtue i mean is that the case 